Hello guys, my name is Igor and today we'll talk with you about keyword research, what it's used for and how can you use it with Sorpstat. Most SEO and PPC specialists are familiar with keyword research, they know what it's for, how it works and what they can do with it. For those of you who haven't heard the term before or have the vague uh, understanding of what it is for, I'll just try to give you a few words on how it works and what it's for. So, uh, keyword research is an essential part of SEO or even creating a successful website. Uh, you want to know what terms your audience is looking for, you want to know how many people are entering each keyword in the search every month, so you just don't shoot blanks and you know for sure that if you are using this keyword and you are taking the first place for this keyword, you can expect at least this number of visitors to come. So keyword research helps you to find these keywords, helps you to find uh, the search volume of these keywords, and it also helps you to find the keywords that have low competition so you can use them and uh, don't worry about competition being too high so you won't rank for these keywords and you won't find traffic because uh, keywords like buy an iPhone are already taken by huge uh, websites like Amazon. So with keyword research you can find something uh, less popular, for example like uh, where can I buy an iPhone 6 or 7. Uh, a lot less competitive keywords that you can use to promote your website and maybe even uh, rank at the top 10. Also, uh, in this video I'd like to tell you about the unique features of Sorpstat and how keyword research with Sorpstat is better than any other keyword research. We have features that allow our users to take advantage of the competitors, uh, easily find long tail keywords, LSI keywords and keywords with low competition and um, high search volumes. So let's jump in, I'll show you how these tools work on the screen so you can see where they are, how to work with them, how they look like and what we need to do to use them. Okay, so let's jump to the screen. Any keyword research starts with uh, basically researching the keyword. So you have to find one, enter it to the search set search bar and you'll get an overview. In this overview you'll see the search volume of the keyword, the level of competition in Google AdWords, uh, you can see what websites rank for these keywords, how the search volume was changing and so on and so forth. This is your basic keyword research data that you can get from uh, any other tool that does keyword research, uh, especially if that tool has uh, information on the search volumes, which is uh, the most important probably here. Uh, now let's jump to the unique features of Surfstart. Uh, I will show you what you can do with them and how you can find the best keywords for your SEO. The first tool of five is uh, Search Questions. It is also a free tool that you can use anytime. Just uh, go to surfstat.com, enter any keyword and jump to Search Questions uh, as you can see here on the screen. This tool is uh, gathering and showing you the autocomplete suggestions from search engines in, li um, in lifetime. Whenever you enter a search query uh, when you're using Google, you can see that there's a drop-down menu that shows you similar queries. So what we do is we collect those in real time and we show you a full list of uh, search suggestions for your keyword and similar keywords. So you get the full list at one place instead of just five or seven uh, search suggestions that you can find on Google's website. Uh, why these keywords are great? Uh, mostly because they are low competition, they are the long tail keywords everyone is talking about, especially the ones in forms of questions. The keywords in forms of questions are important because uh, they are not as popular when it comes to commercial projects especially. Website owners don't often think that people use real questions to time into Google, so a uh, keyword like where to buy an iPhone and uh, keywords buy an iPhone have where different competition uh, levels, uh, though results they bring are the same. As for the longer questions, you can even get better results because people have more uh, direct intent and you know exactly what they're looking for. And if you use this question as a keyword, you get the exact match, with it, which is always a great thing with Google. The next tool I want to show you is called Cluster Research. Uh, it's basically a tool for finding LSI keywords. If you don't know what those are, I'll explain as simple as I can. For example, you can enter one keyword and uh, we'll find a semant semantically similar one by analyzing uh, documents in the search engine. Uh, to give you an example, it means, for example, if someone is looking for a customized bike, uh, there is a chance that that person is looking for a chopper. So if you enter a keyword like a customized bike into Surfset Cluster Research Tool, you will, you will find also keywords about choppers. Uh, this tool is great because your competitors may not be aware of changes like this in your niche. Obviously, customized motorcycle and chopper is an obvious example and people who sell motorcycles know about those. 
but there, there are thousands or uh, maybe even millions of niches that you can analyze and find keywords that you don't know that people use. Uh, there are also keywords with misspellings or uh, when people misunderstand how the name of the company is pronounced, they can use a different word. You can find these here, they are always low competition, they have the same intent as their analogs. So people who are searching for customized bike are the same people who are searching for choppers. And this, this is your audience if uh, you're targeting these keywords. So make sure to use this tool, uh, it's great for finding long tail keywords and keywords with low competition. And let's move on. Our third tool I want to show you is called the Tree View. Uh, it's already connected a little to competitor analysis because it starts with analyzing the website of your competitor. So you can enter a website or you can start with a keyword as before and find websites that rank on top for that keyword. Uh, what Tree View tool does, it shows you uh, a map of a website. So it shows you which pages of this website rank for which keywords and on what positions. So you can safely say that, for example, your competitor and you both sell cell phones. You find the page of uh, competitor, uh, the category page with cell phones of your competitor and you get the full list of keywords that that page is ranking for. You can compare that to your own list of keywords and see if you're missing someone. You can see if your competitor is trying, trying to rank higher for these keywords, they are probably more important. If your competitor is like on 94th position, maybe not so analyze that, or maybe he's just missing those and didn't notice and you can steal them from your competitor. So it's a great tool to find keywords that your competitor is uh, using and uh, try and steal them. Which brings us to our next unique feature is uh, filters. Filters and SERPs that are very adaptable. Uh, you can create any scenario. You can find uh, keywords with uh, levels of competition uh, below uh, 50 percent or 25 or whatever you desire you can find only keywords with a certain search volume only keywords containing a certain word or only keywords without a certain word you can find uh, what keywords your competitor is ranking for on the second position uh, on the second uh, page of google to try and steal those so by using filters you can basically create any scenario for you and you can find any keywords you like uh, make sure to study this question a little uh, you can ask questions to our support or leave the comments here and we'll be sure to give you uh, complete answers to all your questions. So, uh, filters are the way to go when you're doing keyword research. You can get the exact results you're looking for just by uh, clicking a few buttons. So, that was our fourth unique feature. I promised you five. The fifth one is API. When you have access to SERP stats or any other keyword research tools API, you can create any report you want. You can get anything you want from uh, keyword research data. So basically you have access to our database, you can create a script or a program that will show you the results you're looking for. In the video descriptions, uh, description, we'll leave a few links to uh, examples of how you can use these scripts to find unique data that will work to help you. And if you have any questions about using API, just let us know. Meanwhile, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media and have a great day. Thank you and goodbye.